So you can now finally add text into Infinite Painter, actually in Infinite Painter. I'm gonna show you how to do it. And look at this, this is what a text layer looks like compared to like a regular layer. So to create text, it's really simple. And I have checked that this update is available on both iOS and I have checked that it's on Android as well. So you should be able to have the update, just go to your app store and grab it. And so to add text, just go here to your options and then across the tools menu here under the create option, you'll find this new option here for text. If we tap on text, there's a number of different options and actually more than I was expecting. Now, of course, the first thing you can do, double tap here, and then you get a little prompt window here. And if I type in text, I'll also hit uh, enter. So I can go down to a second line and I can do that again if I want to and hit okay. I then get my text and then you can rearrange it ever so slightly. Now, if you wanna go ahead and move text, you do need to go ahead and move it uh, while you are here in the text editor, you can see it moving around the screen. You can't move it once I tap away. I can't move it uh, with the tools option that you would normally do. So for example, if I go up to here and then I go to the option of uh, edit and I go to basic transform, it doesn't do anything because it's a layer. Now, it will then say underneath the layer here, it says the word text on its own. If I tap on it again, I'm presented again with the tools. To get back to the keyboard, you just tap on here and that will bring up your keyboard. And then when you're done, you can mess around with the settings. Now, a few things that I've noticed and things that you may need, if you swipe the text size, which is this little bar here, all the way to the right, you think, oh, hang on, that's the biggest it can go. No, if you let go, see it's at 224, it resets to the middle again, and it's still 224. I can go even bigger, I can go bigger, and I can go bigger and bigger. So you can do it in multiple stages if you need to to fit it onto your screen. And then we've got a bunch of different options down here at the bottom. Fonts, if we start in the bottom left, you can see here by default, it will look like this. You'll only have this set of presets. So you've got all different types of fonts that you can look through. And then once you've selected a font up here, you can tap on here to see if it's got any different versions. So this text only has one weight to it. But if I select, for instance, a different weight, a different font, I might be able to select a slightly different weight and just make them a little bit chunkier. Now, you'll be able to see here, there is also a section that I've got called Imported. Infinite Painter has allowed you to also add in fonts from uh, additional sources, and you can find a bunch of websites online, just type in free fonts, and then download the font to your tablet or iPad. And then when you're ready, hit the plus in the top right. You can then go ahead and go into your files, and it will pull it out, and obviously you can navigate to wherever you've saved it to. And if I wanna go ahead and add in this new font that I've not yet added in, by the way, it looks like you can use TTF and OTF files, but you'll have to triple check with uh, Infinite Painter themselves. And it's as simple as literally just tapping on here and then boom, my new font is in here, ready to go. So that's how you do fonts. That's also how you install brand new fonts. Uh, I can tap away and then we can go through the rest of the other options and there's still more to look at. If we tap on the color, of course that changes the color of the actual text itself. And you can dive into your palettes if you wanna find a specific color. We then have the option here for outline. This is really cool. Um, you can then increase the size of an outline around your text so you can get that lovely bubbly effect. And if I tap here, again, I can change the color. I can make it black, give it a nice solid outline. Now, what's cool about that is you could, for instance, set the color here. If you've just got a set, say, like a plain white background, you could set the text color to white and then it just looks like an outline instead. That's a really cool thing that you can do. However, I'll show you something in a second that you can then also do afterwards. So we've got an outline. You can also change the format. You can make it, of course, go left aligned, right aligned, central. And then you can also change the text. Currently, I've got capital letter and three lowercase. But if I tap here, it will change everything to all caps. If I tap here, it will change it all to lower caps. And if I tap here, it will do the first letter is capitalized. However, if you wanna keep it as you wrote it, you just simply tap on this little line here and it'll go back to normal. So let's go ahead and see what other options we've got here on the menu. The next one is spacing, and that is multiple things, in fact. That will change the spacing between your letters, so you can stretch them out if you need to. You've also got word spacing, so if you had two words on the same line, it will push them apart a little bit more. But you also have line spacing, and line spacing is then every time you've got a new line of text, you can space them out as well. So you can make them really tight, or you can you know, mess around with the settings to match up your design. Let's then also go into the option here of justify. Now this will give you a few different options as well. You can change individual sort of elements like scaling, uh, letter spacing, and that will just, it's a little bit kind of more 
in tune. You can be a bit more precise in here um, and manage multiple things as well. And then we get to the final option here on the right hand side. Now this is very important that you do or do not do this based on what you need it to do. At the minute, if I tap away and I go to another layer, I can go ahead and of course draw as I wish and I can create anything I want. I can do like a little swirl in behind there, for example, and that is on a different layer. And every time I tap on the text layer, I'm given the options to change the text if I need to. However, if you wanna make that text into a regular layer, like as if I'd just drawn on here, you can tap on this item here to change it to an image layer. If I tap on that, if I now you know change layer and then go back to that layer, I do not get the option to change the text anymore because I've now made it into just a regular layer. Now that has pros and cons to it, but as I mentioned, if you did the outline effect, you could just simply go ahead and go up to your, your tools up here. And if you found the option of select, you would be able to then grab, for instance, the one tool. I could select the inside of the T and I could do the same for every letter. And then I can just go ahead and use the option of delete. I can then tap away and go away from my settings. I can hit the tick here and then hit the red dot. And I know it's a bit of a choppy uh, cut, but for now it will do. I've actually made it now so that the inside of the uh, the T there is completely transparent. So I can see through the letter, which is pretty cool, rather than just the solid red. Now, another thing you might want to know is uh, if you duplicate a layer and then you so say your text layer, you can obviously change individual ones. And if I want to move this, it will get a little bit snappy. So you need to kind of drag it around a little bit. You need to drag it like off of the snapping and then you can precisely drag it to where you need it to be. And I can duplicate that again, move it all the way up to the top this time and then tap on that and just continue to adjust and tweak the settings as I wish and drag that around and into position. You can see it gets a little bit snappy and it wants to hold on. But I can do lots of little things like I can create this really interesting, just pretty easy kind of 3D looking text effect. It's an orange text layer, a white text layer and then a black text layer, just slightly at an angle to give you that nice 3D look. But as I mentioned, if you then tap on the top one and you then say, for instance, you want to change it to an image, we can have even more fun because we could just tap on the text. We can alpha lock it so we can't paint outside of it. And then if I just go to my brush and I go to something like sprayers, first of all, and I grab the soft airbrush, I'll just grab any color, like I'll grab red. And this is not meant to be a tutorial as such, but it's just meant to show you like a cool few things you can do. I can then run through the top of the text here, creating like a red gradient. I can then go to my yellow tool, the yellow color, should I say, add in a bit of yellow towards the bottom. And then I might even go to like this color here, all in the basic palette and add in like a really cool gradient effect to the text. And again, because it's alpha locked and it's just a layer, I can create a new layer and tap on it and clipping mask it to the text. And if I want to, I could go to my brush and grab something like a pen and I could just run some like squiggly lines through here now. So if you wanna get some text sort of based uh, tutorials here for Infinite Painter on the channel, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. I'll happily create some different text tutorials for you. And I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, drop a like on it, drop a comment, and I'll see you in the next one.